Robert, thank you. We begin this morning with the latest from Washington. Yesterday, one of two Republicans on the January 6th committee, Representative Adam Kinzinger, released audio tape of graphic death threats that were called into his office. ABC's M. Wynn has the details. I guess I can't say a whole lot more other than I'll you naturally die as quickly as possible. This morning, Republican Congressman Adam Kinzinger sharing a compilation of threatening messages his office has received in response to his work on the committee investigating the attack on the Capitol. We know who your family is, and we're going to get you. Get your little get your wife, go get your kids. Kinzinger is a father to a baby born earlier this year. The audio posted to his Twitter account includes more than a dozen messages. We know where you live. We're coming to your house. Gonna get you, Mike. Kinzinger and Liz Cheney are the only Republicans on the January 6th committee. We're gonna get you. Coming to your house, son. Gonna get you and Liz Cheney. <laughs> Kinzinger saying threats of violence over politics has increased heavily in the last few years, but the darkness has reached new lows. The committee's next public hearing will be Tuesday and will focus on the white nationalist groups who took part in the riot. While the hearings in Washington are expected to wrap up this month, a criminal investigation in Georgia looking into election interference now appears to be ramping up. A grand jury has issued subpoenas to seven advisors and allies of former President Trump, including Rudy Giuliani and Senator Lindsey Graham. Also subpoenaed, Cleta Mitchell. She was on the infamous call with Georgia's Secretary of State when Trump said he needed to find enough votes to overturn his loss to Joe Biden. Legal experts say Trump's call may have violated multiple state election laws. Trump denies any wrongdoing. In Washington, M. Wynn, ABC News.